Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry. The monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? <sighs> it was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you, right, my friends? They're becoming excited. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided! The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I... I can't move! The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the East flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? 
I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? <laughs>
Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. That was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood, so he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. an end to it, but you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. No matter how far you go, or how many corpses you crawl over, the killing will never end. It's a future without hope. Hear me, Snake! My spirit will be watching you. Snake, it's me. Master? It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Mm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. 
Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? <sighs> Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait. Wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. What happened? Snake! 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 Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? 
right in front of Metal Gear. But it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, no mechanics. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep. That describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Um, uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I've never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. <laughs> 